What is up ladies and gentlemen, hope you're doing fine. Recently I sent what could easily be the most rock climbing technique instructive route I ever climbed and that's not even an exaggeration and I got good footage of it so I had to make an analysis. This is just a wonderful example of applying technique out in the field to solve problems fast and efficiently and I felt like the community could profit from this a lot so I wanted to share it publicly not only on Patreon where the analyses baby please go these days. Before I forget, please drop a like and feedback down below. I and the algorithms would highly appreciate it. Thanks. Here's a bit of brief context. We had an adventure in a rather remote spot called Grimmenstein in East Austria. Very interesting limestone with crazy shapes, very unique. The climbing is short and bouldery and consequently very funky, especially in higher grades. It was a good day. I had already red pointed an 8A called Atlas, second go. I featured the uncut ascent recently as well as the analysis on the Patreon. Thorsten got his hands on a 7C plus with the wonderful name Schur 2. He was struggling to find a solution for the crux and offered me a checkout in the hope I'd find something. From the bottom the route doesn't look spectacular, not very steep and a bit pinched in between two easier routes left and right, yet the line makes total sense as it features its own unique moves in a blank, formidable mini overhang, the crux, which should turn out to force one of the most amazing sequences I ever climbed. <laughs> We're starting with a short vertical section featuring some decent lock-offs ending up in a good undercling below the blank mini overhang from which you have to get a clip in. Kudos to the bolter at this point because thanks to the draw arrangement it is possible to climb the whole crux sequence without getting interrupted by clipping. Now things are getting serious. In the flash attempt I didn't know what to do yet. I had two possibilities, I had a left hand crimp or right hand side pull. I went for high left, which was wrong unfortunately, the crimp was worse than expected so I had to sit down. Now in checkout mode I tried the right side pull next. The issue with that side pull is that it represents the right end of the overhang. There is no more holds or footholds further right, so establishing a counter force to that side pull will be tricky. Can you find a solution? Side pulls often call for drop knees and it turns out a high drop knee is possible here by fiddling the left foot into another side pull from before. Mechanically speaking, this drop knee prevents the barn door that would be caused by the off-center side pull right, allowing release of the left hand and grabbing the bad high crimp. Now the left hand controls the barn door, allowing release of the left foot again. Can you find a solution for the next move up to the slopey pinch with right? Prominent erratic corner-like features often call for heel hooks, and a heel hook it is, which establishes a counter force to the left crimp, preventing the body from swinging out when releasing the right hand, which would otherwise cause a certain fall. Splitting the left leg to the opposite side increases the pressure in that hook further, which decreases chance of slipping while doing the move. Once the pinch is secured, we've got hands very high on top of the overhang, feet very low below the overhang. You gotta be careful now to not lose feet and swing on those bad holds or you will fall. How can the heel hook be released in a safe way and how do feet have to be arranged to allow the next move with left into that pocket given that the overhang itself is totally blank and void of any significant footholds? That's a tricky one. Left foot must utilize the undercling from before as a shallow toe hook, establishing a counter force to the right hand, preventing a swing out once right heel hook is released. As you can see, we're still swinging a bit here, but the toe hook handles it quite well actually. This was very exhausting on the toe hook muscles, as stepping with right against the wall now increases pressure in the toe hook further, decreasing chance of slipping when releasing the left hand for the next move into a decent pocket. To be able to reach for the very left target hold of that sequence with left, we gotta get that next hold with right, which will require a crossover. Can you spot what to do with the feet? Keep in mind the overhang is blank. Correct. Right heel hook again, this time a high one on the side pull from before, creating a counter force to the left hand, allowing release of the right hand for the next move, and again splitting the opposite leg apart increases heel hook pressure, decreasing slipping chances. I'm on the shorter side of things here, which means I have to let go of the toe hook, someone taller would be more efficient just staying in the toe hook for the crossover, and only move out afterwards when both holds are secured. Now it's almost done, we've got two decent holds, but we somehow gotta reach for that far away target hold on the left. Can you find a solution for the feet? 
That's again a tricky one. I will give you a hint. The overhang is blank, but very high on the right side above the overhang, there's a small surface which can be used for smearing. Holes are decent, so it's possible to simply let go of that heel and pull feet up very high. High off-center footholds often call for heel hooks or flags. Heel hook if foothold is big and somewhat in-cut, flag if it is small, so in this case a flag is indicated. Allowing release of the left hand for a static grab into a tiny intermediate, followed by dynamically catching the target. How amazing is that? This crux of maybe 2 meters contains all basic techniques in an obligatory fashion. What an instructive route, I was absolutely amazed by this actually. Let's go through it one more time in an uncut fashion. So we're starting again in the more vertical section of the climb here, which is uh, definitely the more easy part of the route, I would say. We're getting a clip in there, uh, right hand finds something very high feet there, and a uh, big lock off there up into the uh, side pull here, which uh, already initiates basically the big undercling, which is below the mini overhang there. Getting a clip in, but we first gotta sort our hands into the undercling before we start into the sequence to get that very high clip in, um, as you remember from before. This is the clip that you gotta do essentially before starting into the crux so that you can do the crux uninterrupted. Um, getting my second hand into the side pull, remember rope management, very important. Uh, side pull right, and now it's, it starts got this beautiful drop knee there preventing the barn door a small crimp left releasing the drop knee again and heel hook right being able to pull through into that shallow slopey pinch up there with right and now this absolutely genius toe hook there which prevents swinging out stepping again to increase the pressure and the left hand goes into the pocket right heel hook there to stabilize the situation for the crossover and now pulling up the feet here, here I found something small for smearing here in the overhang actually, pulling up the feet for this nice flag and catching the target hold. What an amazing crux and I would say when you have to grade this uh, boulder on its own I would say it's maybe like 6C, 6C+, plus, maybe 7A at most but I think actually 6C plus is enough. And uh, yeah, but with, with, with all of these techniques really really um, doable actually. Yeah, so. Uh, it's kind of amazing how, how this can be super challenging and almost impossible feeling at the beginning and then once you pack out all of these tools it's actually very doable. And from there to the top it's uh, a couple of easier moves, not really anything super interesting to analyze or anything. Um, yeah, let me know if you enjoyed the analysis by dropping a like and feedback down below. If this is something you're into in general, I can recommend the Patreon where I analyze interesting problems regularly. Keep crushing and I'll see you soon. Bye.